Hey guys, what's going on? I got a battle here against a guy, uh, Ashra Temple. Yeah, that's it. So anyway, oh, you might, and, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do it. So, lead off with Hank, because he is the, uh, the ghost of a Sears employee that has inhabited this, uh, this washing machine. So anyway, he leads up with a Dragonite. I was like, cool, will o wisp burn it. It's all gonna be tasty, delicious, but... Tragically, Hank dies yet again when he crits me with a uh, outrage that he goes for turn one. So I'm gonna go into Ferrothorn because I gotta tank these um, outrages. And the outrage is a lot, so he's probably banded. But that crit, man, that just burns my biscuits, you know what I'm trying. So, I'm gonna go for the Stealth Rock. And, uh, yeah, that's. Yeah. So, he gets a third turn outrage, and, wow, it does a lot. I mean, that's like a 3 at KO, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to go for the Leech Seed so that I can get some of my health back, because, God, ugh, my hand is dragging out just barring my biscuits. So, get some health back from the Leech Seed and the stuff, and the leftovers, and the things, so I predict the switch, go to the Leech Seed again, he is going to go into, uh, Bronzong, no problem, it's a Wally type thing, and, uh, Leech Seed is good on it, so, that's stuff, and things, and such, and so, um, he gets some health back, and he's probably going to set up rocks or something, so I'm just going to switch out, go into, uh, Rapushin, thought maybe I could set up on it, he does go for the rocks, and it's fine, because my team doesn't really care about rocks, um, <laughs> I don't know if you'd call it a team, it's pretty much me going, oh, stuff in my box, yeah, let's put that in the team, sure, so, um, I go for the bulk up, thinking maybe I can set up, and then I f completely forgot about this Quagsire and that it has unaware and stuff, so I was like, oh, gotta switch out. This thing, pretty much one of the best counters to bulk up Propulsion, so. Um, I'm gonna go into, uh, Ferrothorn. Yes, Ferrothorn, because I thought I can scare him out with Power Whip, even though I don't actually have it, and this Quagsire is gonna annoy me because I don't have power whip. He goes to the toxic, I don't know why he was going to status a Rapushin who runs guts, but to each his own. So, um, I'm going to go for the leech seed, predicting the switch, or him to stay in. I just want some damage on him and some more health. He goes back into his Dragonite, and uh, this thing is losing health uh, really fast. So that's good because I hate this thing and it should go burn in a fire. I mean, I love all Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, super. I don't. That's, no. So I'm going to go into this because I know the fire punch is coming. And it's my only resist left. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? This Dragonite is just my favorite because he crits me yet again. And that does a whole lot. Luckily, I'm able to get... Uh, some HP back from the Leech Seed, and it's just, uh, so I'm gonna go for the Surf, um, because I am Specs, and I know at this point, it's gonna take it out, so, that's good stuff, he's gonna go into a Scizor, and I don't wanna die to Bullet Punch, so, I'm gonna switch out, and I'm gonna go into Jirachi, because I figure if he Swords Dances, I can just kill him with Fire Punch, because I'll be faster, and bullet punches I resist it anyway so yeah he goes to the bullet punch and I resist that nicely and so yeah he's gonna switch out here I predict the switch go for the u-turn he's gonna switch into his quagsire which uh, is gonna take basically nothing from the u-turn because quagsire is pretty defensive and it's just a good Pokemon in general now with unaware so I'm gonna switch out going to who go into blah, 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 blah. talking is hard so I'm going to go into Latios, knowing that Spex Draco Meteor is going to just massacre that thing. I decide I don't want to go for the Surf, uh, in case his Latios comes in. Maybe it's like, oh, mine, it could set up on me. So I decide to go just straight for the Draco Meteor. 
And I know that the Bronzong is going to come in, but I thought, I mean, it's Bronzong, maybe I can do a KO. But he's really specially defensive because that did way less than I thought it would. So, I can't, I'm not going to be able to do a KO this thing, I don't think. And, or maybe I got min damage, but I don't know. Either way, I don't want to stay in. I'm going to go into Nidoking. Not really sure what I was predicting, but I know that I can easily take on this Bronzong, so ain't no problem. So he's going to switch out, and he's going to go into his Latias now. Um, and I see leftovers, and that makes me sad, because I'm thinking bulky, calm mind, something. Yeah, he goes for the calm mind, and I was like, ugh. But I decide to stay in, see how much an Ice Beam will do, because Nido King is pretty freaking strong. So, um, I'm going to go for the Ice Beam, but it does, I mean, pretty much what you'd think, considering Latias has base 130 special defense and a boost. So, I decide to stay in, in case he wanted to get up a sub, and it's lagging, and oh my lord. So, um, yep, he just goes for second cow mind and I'm just gonna go for the ice beam just still not doing anything at all and it's just depressing oh it's tragic so I'm gonna go into the first one now and uh, he's gonna go for the recover <laughs> so that's really bad and this is just kind of a horrible situation for me I really don't want to get swept by cow mind Latias but um, I decide I'm going to go for the gyro ball and just see how much it does. Um, I don't know what attacks he's running. Turns out he's running Hidden Power Fire, which is bad because it's going to kill me in one hit easily because of plus two. And yeah. Four times, super effective, and all that good stuff. So, die horribly, and this Latias has the potential to sweep me. But. Normally it'd be a speed tie, but he's running Hidden Power Fire, and I'm not, so Latios is able to... Oh, stop with the lag. Oh, my God. So, um, I'm able to do a lot, which is pretty good, considering he's at plus two special defense and 130 base. But it's not enough, and he lives with just a smidgen, and um, he's able to kill me off with a uh, Dragon Ball. So pretty bad. Um, at this point, this battle is just looking grim to me. And, oh my god, this lag. Holy shit, what are you doing? Fuck. So, I go into uh, my scarfed Drachi, and I'm going to go for the U-turn. And it's a really good thing that I did, because he's going to go into his Gyarados, and I thought he'd just stay on, stay in and fodder off his uh, thing, but turns out he wanted to get a... Uh, a Dragon Dance up, so it's really good that I did an Iron Head because I would have been stuck in, had to switch out. So I go into Bouse, and I know that I'm probably faster unless he's some sort of Scarf variant, and he's gonna switch out. I don't know why I didn't predict the switch to the Quagsire, but um, probably should have. Yeah, definitely should have. So here I'm gonna go for the Earth Power. I thought maybe I'll survive an Earthquake or a Scald or something. But maybe he thinks I'm choiced. So I go for the Earth Power, and it does a lot. Damn, that did a lot. I'm just amazed at how strong Nido King is. So yeah, I think maybe he thought I was choiced, and that's why he stockpiled. Or maybe he thought that Earth Power wouldn't do, like, as much as it did. So here, I'm just going to go for the Earth Power again. He switches into his Bronzong. Um, it's no real problem. I can take Bronzong. Although, here, uh, this next turn, I'm not sure if Thunderbolts will take it out, judging by how well it took the Draco Meteor before, so I decide to risk the Fire Blast miss. I should probably run Flamethrower, but, um, I used to. I don't know why I changed it, but, anyway, I do hit, and I'm able to kill him off, so, his Latias comes in, but luckily he dies to Stealth Rocks, so, that's fantastic, and... Um, this battle's actually looking up. So, he goes into his Gyarados, and I am faster, because he's not scarfed, and I'm able to kill him off with the Thunderbolt, no problem. So, that was another dangerous thing, potentially dangerous, that um, has now bit the dust. 
So that's that's tasty and delicious and several kinds of deliciousness. What? What am I even talking about? Anyway, he's gonna go into a cis whore and um, I decide I could probably maybe live an unboosted bullet punch and just go for an earth power. Turns out I'm faster, which that that's not surprising. I don't know why I said turns out. But anyway, he goes to the swords dance, lives with just a sliver, and I was like, shit. Hopefully, uh, Rapushin can live a plus two life or bullet punch. But, uh, Rapushin's a boss, so it's likely that he can. So he goes for the bullet punch, and, um, Rapushin does survive. It's likely that he's running the especially defensive swords dance variant, so, that runs less attack EVs, so. Anyway, glad I survive, and he's going to go into his last, which is now this Quagsire that's on low HP, and I'm not sure if I'm faster, don't want him to recover, so I'm going to go for the Mac Punch, and luckily that's able to uh, take him out one shot, so that is the game, so good game, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, I <laughs> recorded for a little too long, so um, probably should have cut that out, but uh, it goes against... Um, my laziness, so, yeah, alright, see you guys.